Hey everyone, welcome back to the Hacker Stacker channel. And this is a video that I'm going to produce to show you what a huge mistake is that a lot of beginning stackers tend to make. And especially the ones that don't have any discipline. Now if you're like most people, you have to work on a regular basis to get money coming in. You have a job, you work 9 to 5, and whatever that job is, doesn't matter. You don't get all the money you're ever going to need for your entire life all in one great big chunk. We have to work for it on a regular basis. So you get your paycheck and you think, okay, I need so much money to pay my bills. So over here is the money I pay my bills with. That money's gone. I'm going to become a stacker because I heard you can make money at it. So I'm going to go buy some silver. And the next pay period comes along and you get your paycheck you say, okay, I'm going to pay my bills, that money's gone, and I'm going to go buy some more silver. Wash, rinse, repeat. You get your next paycheck, you pay your bills, and you go buy silver. Oh, isn't this great? You've got a stack growing now. You're a real stacker. Next paycheck comes along, and guess what? You need more than this just to pay your rent or your mortgage payment. So you think, okay. I'll take some of my silver, I'll go back down to the store, sell it back to them, get the money I need to pay my bills, and I'm good. Next pay period comes along, you say, okay, I'm going to pay my bills, and I'm off again. I'm going to start buying some more silver. Next pay period comes along, and you missed some work because your car was out of commission. It needs a transmission. Shoot. I don't have enough money to pay for that. I need a little bit more to pay, not only pay for my repairs, but my bills. So now I've got the money to pay my bills and repair my car. Do you see the problem with this method of stacking? You started out with nothing and you have nothing. All you did is you drove back and forth between the coin shop or the bullion dealer. Now, before I show you how you really should do this, I want to thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, and comment, and hit that bell to get notifications on new content. Here is what I suggest you do to properly stack any precious metal. You get your paycheck, and you pay your bills. And you hang on to this. Your next paycheck comes along, you save a little bit and you pay your bills. Like I say, this money over here is gone. You get your next paycheck. You save some of it and you pay your bills. Now, at the end of the month, when the rent or the mortgage is due, you not only have your paycheck, but a little bit of money saved up to pay that added expense. Now, let's say the next month comes along, or the next pay period comes along, and you've put in some overtime. So you think, okay, I'm going to pay my bills, save one of these, and now I'm going to buy some silver. So the following week, when you have a thin paycheck and you got to pay for to repair your car, you have the funds available to do that with. So you're paying your bills and you're getting your car fixed. You have a little bit of silver and you've got a little bit of cash to cover every these little incidentals that come up. Now, let's say you decide to work some overtime the following week, or it's offered to you and you take it. So, okay, I'm going to save this, I'm going to use this to pay my bills, and now I'm going to buy more silver. You can see that after the next pay period where you save a little bit and spend the rest, this is far, far better than ending up like we did originally. We have nothing. This is a common thing I see with new stackers that have no discipline. Every penny they make that isn't accounted for for that week goes right into purchasing precious metal and they overspend. So they start stacking, they start getting silver, but then they need to sell it back to the store just to get some money to pay their bills. And then the next time that happens, they go back to the store and they get money to pay their bills with. And they end up with nothing to show for it. 
This is why you need to do two things. One, you always need to have some of your money in cash, and I've done a video about that up here, and it's also in the description. You also need to have some discipline. You can't just say, oh, I've got X number of dollars after I pay my bills this week, I'm going to go buy some silver. Because if you go buy some silver, and the next week you need to just sell it right back and take a loss just to pay your bills, you're not gaining anything. So, always make sure that you complement your stack with cash, as in this video, as well as you need to learn discipline. Don't treat your stack like this as an ATM. This isn't a bank card here, folks. It's an investment. You are trying to keep a hold of this. Yes, you need this to pay your bills, but the idea is to not have to use this to go get more money from the store. Now, yes, I realize there's going to be some extenuating circumstances, something totally unforeseen, that you do need to cash in some of your stack for cash. But if you do this on a regular basis, you're just treating your stack as an ATM, that is not the way to stack silver and precious metals. So take a little advice, do it the right way, and eventually your stack will grow and grow and grow to the point where you have a nice comfortable margin. So keep on stacking, and I'll see you in the next video.